Springtime is here and it is time to throw a floating worm. What color floating worm? Methylate? Bubble gum? I'm gonna show you exactly what to do and how I rig it and where to throw it. Easiest setup right here, start out with a 5 volt Gamagatsu offset shank worm hook, about a 12 to 14 inch leader. We're gonna be using monofilament on this, not fluorocarbon line, because you want the floating worm action to be going on. Running that up to a black number five barrel swivel. Here we are with the hook. I run this all the way up to my swivel and it runs it and I throw it on a bait caster as well. You can throw this on a spinning rod. I prefer a bait caster, that's just me. Do whatever you're most comfortable with. In terms of rigging it though, that is where it gets really, really important. So we're gonna just rig the bubble gum one just like this. The bubble gum one, I like it for a lot clearer water situations more than the methylate. So the same way with the methylate is just like with this bubble gum, I rig it the exact same way. These are a softy lure, uh, six and a quarter inch meat getter. These are available at Fish North Georgia's online website. So this is how I like to rig them. You take your five out worm, just embed right here where it says softy. It says zoom on the other ones if you throw a zoom one. But softy, come right in there to it, come right through the bin just like so, as you're seeing. Bring it all the way up right through here. And what you're basically doing is you're creating a boot. This, when you twitch it through the water, it's gonna twitch and it's gonna, you see that little action as you twitch it through the water. Instead of it going side to side, it'll actually dip, dive, and come up like that. So then you come in just like that after you've rigged it right here. And I actually take the worm and come in to the side right there just a little bit off to the side of the bottom and push it through. You can see right there kind of how I came through the little bit side instead of the dead middle of it right there. And there you have it. There's how I rig a floating worm. Make sure you keep it weedless. That's exactly what it looks like. Whether it's bubble gum, methylate, remember bubble gum for clear water, the methylate works best in more stained water. I'm throwing this in the backs of pockets anywhere where largemouth and spotted bass could be spawning. When you get this thing around their beds, they can't stand it, they come unglued on it. All you see is a big old flash or a big old bull and they got it, reel down, set to hook. It's awesome, it's fun fishing, and I know you'll catch a bunch of fish on it. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell for more videos just like this.